I'm going to start this video with a look at some of the new features that are in the game this week, and then the second half of the video I'll show my development environment and how I build iPad games. So this video is a capture uh, directly from the game running in Windows, and you can see that the players now have a health bar and two numbers underneath the plane. The numbers indicate their kills and their ammunition remaining. So you have to land at the airstrips to repair your drone or to reload your ammo. And the kills is the first implementation of an experience point system. Later on I'll, I'll add some complexity to that so that you can gain experience in different ways such as supporting another player, defending a base, um, evading missiles, that kind of thing. I've also implemented countermeasures so you can drop flares to distract missiles. The flares, of course, will also distract friendly missiles, so you have to be careful where you use them, and you have a limited number of them. So this is my development setup. I have a 2008 MacBook. You can use any Mac for iPhone development, as long as it runs uh, OS X Snow Leopard. It can even be a Mac Mini. And here is the Torque Game Builder Editor. One of the advantages of using Torque is that your game also runs in Windows and on the Mac as well as on the iPad. So that's very convenient for testing. I can just run the game right here and test it with the mouse. So here's a closer look at the Torque level editor. You can see my drones here in the background for the map. These are the enemy models. These are some of the particle effects in the game at the moment. This is the missile trail. This is the trail of dots that the aircraft leave behind them. Then I have the menu bar on the left in a second scene. So this runs on top of the main game window in a second window. And that way you can pan the camera and the menu bar stays where it is. For coding, I use TorqueDev. It only runs in Windows. So I've installed Windows XP and I run it through a virtual machine with VMware Fusion. So this is Windows running in a window. On the Mac, you can see this this side is Windows and this side is Mac OS. Here's a better view of TorqueDev. You can see it's a very well-featured IDE. It's free as well. So it has all the features you would expect in development environments like um, code completion and function header lookup and error checking, that sort of stuff. Once uh, my game is ready to test on the iPad, then I load up Xcode. Xcode is Apple's development environment. It's free, but if you want to develop iPhone or iPad games, you have to pay a $100 subscription uh, per year. And when you click Build and Run on Xcode, it then deploys the game to your iPad and launches it ready for testing. So you can test multi-touch and tilt and other hardware specific features on the hardware. And it also leaves the executable on the iPad desktop so you can run it again later. You can give it to your friends to test and that kind of thing. So that's all for this week's video. If you found this interesting or useful, please leave a comment for me on YouTube and I'll have another video with some more progress next week.